speak, we complete each other. Yeah. Whatever hole we have, we fill. Whatever oh, hole we have, the best just... looking. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't want, I don't end with that. Yeah. Okay. Except. So whatever Hinga says, okay. <laughs> uh, I think, I think uh, we did have, and uh, probably have the shirt here. Uh, I'm going to give it to you before we go. Um, it, it's a cartoon kind of, uh, you know, print that each brother sort of has a special power, you know, and we try to see what power would that be that translates the personality of each of the brothers. So, so Hegan is kind of like a, the muscle guy from the Fantastic Four, you know, the rock kind of thing, you know, it's like he has always been the bigger Machado, and I, big uh, but th th not just big, you know, he, his skills. We had a rule when um, I, when I, in the early 90s, right? So the guys, they walk into the school to kind of to challenge us, right? So we would size the guys up. So the guy would be coming in. So as we, we shake the hand, we'd talk in person, no, he's mine. <laughs> I take care of this guy. One time one guy came in, he literally had to duck to get in the door. So he started talking to each brother. So each brother, he shook the hand. We're like this, Higan, he's yours. <laughs> then the next brother, like, Higan, he's yours. The, one of the reasons that I feel it's for us, uh, it's important to remain united regardless of the circumstances, is the fact that all of us have one common denominator. We have passion for what we do. Every single brother here, when we are at the academy, when we're doing something related to jiu-jitsu, there's no other place we'd rather be. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we want to be there. We don't, we don't want to exchange places with anybody, regardless of any circumstances. And I feel in each, in our own way, uh, you know, uh, for us, I think we, we have created a legacy and and I think we have contributed, contributed to the history of uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in the United States and in the world at large. We learn as much as the students learn. We teach, but we are ever learning, always learning. We learn from the students from... But we start seeing with the years, in our own lives, our own experiences, our, our, on our own trials and tribulations of life, we all go through. And the role we play with our students at the school, in all the schools that we had, we still have, that we will have, we start seeing the, as we, we mature as teachers and see more and more the, the need to, you teach, is to teach more than just a number, to teach more than just a show. It's to, you get, and we go beyond that. We we'd get people to, to understand a different to use Jiu-Jitsu as a tool in their lives. So not just learn how to fight, that's small, later in your life. You might never fight somebody in the street. It's more than that, it's how that, how to carry that. It doesn't matter, it can be a doctor, you can be there, but you have your course, your breathing, you're more calm. And each brother will do that in their own particular way, but how the friendship that you develop in the school, how in our own way, but each brother in their own way, but how we welcome our students with a smile, how we talk to them. And we do that from the heart, it's not because we are acting that, because we grew up this way. So Jiu-Jitsu has that power, as martial arts in general, to help people to express themselves. That's what I want to say. I don't want to teach you Jiu-Jitsu, I want you to leave Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah. That's what you get when you come to our show. You're not going to learn Jiu-Jitsu, you're going to leave every day. The mentality of the mentality. students themselves. Like I have a rule in my academy that I use often. If a student taps the other student, he has to show right away how he tapped the guy out. And we let it help him see how he can counter it. So, you know, it's always growth regardless of. But anyhow.